welcome to the new Bucks Head for today's game between AFC Telford United and Hereford United. After 45 games of the season, Telford start next year in the Blue Square Bet North. But who's going to be sat here in the manager's seat when they begin the campaign next year? Before today's highlights, let's go and have a look at today's team sheet. Well, welcome to a sun soaked at New Bucks Head here in Wellington. A really good crowd here today. I would say well over 2,000 supporters here packed into the Bucks Head for the final game of this, well, some would say, disastrous season. Telford will be saying goodbye to the Conference Premier as relegation was confirmed several weeks ago. And a number of these players here today uh, will be leaving for pastures new uh, as well. And probably that is what Telford need. Well, this final game then in the top flight of non-league football for Telford for the time being, up against Hereford United, the last time these two sides met, it finished one all at Edgar Street with Telford getting a last gas goal through Gerard Kinsella. So we're underway then, Telford kicking from our left to right, a glorious sunny evening here in Shropshire. Now here's Rooney, gets past O'Keefe in midfield, the Bucks on the charge, Rooney looks to slot it through, Williams knew he was offside, so he came back and then Rooney has a pop. And it's wide past Bittner's left-hand post. Here we still await our first goal of the, the evening here. But then Nesley is caught in possession. Sharp pulls it back to the near post. Hereford still have a golden opportunity here. Chipped into the far post and headed away by Valentine. It's away for a throw in. Adagio looks to chip it through. It may land to James O'Neill. Bittner kicks it away. Then a shot on the volley from Williams over. Well, Telford at the moment look the better team. As we know that James O'Neill can... Uh, throw it quite a distance as well <laughs> in the end he throws it short to Valentine so a cross in the end it's a poor one from Valentine but Adagio picks it up can he get a shot in yes he can it's over it fell nicely for Marco Adagio the angle was very very tight indeed but he splashed over Bittner's bar and Hereford do have some height in their team especially uh, up front with Ryan Bowman He's had a tremendous season. He was once a target for the Bucks when Andy Sinton was manager. In comes a cross and Ryan Young has to tip it away. He was just dipping in and Klukas with a, a decent delivery there. Hereford do have another corner. It's another high one. Ryan Young tips it away again. Good awareness of his box there, Ryan Young. And Adagio backs out of a challenge on Rod McDonald. McDonald cuts in. He may go for goal. Kicks it with the outside of his left foot. Hits the post. It's the other post. And it's in. It's finally put in. And it's Klukas. Well, it was a decent ball in there. It was Klukas with his header on that far post. It hit the woodwork. The ball travelled along the line. And Ben Klukas just popped it in. And it's Telford nil. Hereford United won. A lot of committed people here, including the chairman, Lee Carter, who's done a sterling job since the uh, club re, uh, well, was reborn back in 2004. There we go, at half-time then, at the Bucks' head. And it's Telford nil, Hereford United 1. Welcome back to the Bucks Head. Both teams are out. We're uh, about to make a prompt start to this second half. The last 45 minutes of this football season. And it's going to be Hereford to get us underway. And it's O'Keefe and Sharp over this one. Mr Hopkins, the referee, blows his whistle. And we are underway then. The final half of this season where Telford uh, already knew their fate before today's game. Nice. Leslie intercepts it in midfield, shoots and Bittner scrambles to his left and saves it. You know, let's get some shots on goal, let's put Bittner under a bit of pressure. It's been too keep at the other end, Klukas, Klukas turns, Valentine scores! <laughs> well, Valentine couldn't deal with Klukas there. He gets his second of the game. It's Telford nil, Hereford United 2. Here's Adagio, well, he's giving it away to Jackson. Jackson shoots, scores against his former team. Marlon Jackson, it was a mistake by Marco Adagio. And Jackson pounced, and it's a very good finish. He drills it into the bottom right-hand corner. It's Telford nil, Hereford three. A chance here for Klukas for his hat-trick. Straight to the keeper, on the follow-up, it's O'Keefe. And O'Keefe scores, it's Telford nil, Hereford four. They've drawn far too many games this season and struggled to score goals. 
and then when that run went on and on it uh, was just uh, all the confidence was sucked out of them trainer with a cross from a right header good save the header from spray in the end and he was uh, quite a distance out just a couple of yards inside the penalty area fisting cross and james spray headed it delightfully but a super save by bitner low to his left he got two hands onto it and just caught it on the line and it's now ryan young to kick this forward and there we go telford wave goodbye to the conference two seasons in the top flight of non-league football have come to an end they finish rock bottom of the pile nothing short of a disastrous season for afc telford united four managers the last one restoring a bit of pride but sadly the changes in managers did not bring about a change in fortune in results Hereford finishing sixth in the table, another smoke flare thrown onto a pitch again by the Hereford fans away to our right. And uh, the uh, Telford players, a couple of which will not be here next season, will be saying their own goodbyes to the Bucks Head as we look up to the clear blue skies above us and hopefully uh, a new era beginning for AFC Telford United. So, so if we end the season here with a 4-0 defeat at home to Hereford United, I'm joined now by manager John Pissaris. John, I guess a disappointing end to a, to a really disappointing season. Yeah, it, you know, it's, um, it's not easy, is it? You've, you've been relegated, um, you know, a month ago, wherever it was. Um, and it, for me, it's more disappointing because of the result against Epsley last week. I thought the performance was great, you know, and today we started really well. We had a, the first half, I thought we were by far the better team. You know, um, their manager was sort of complaining about the state of the pitch, but we dealt with the, the better the first half. Obviously, we conceded against them in a play, and then at half time, I said it's important that you stay in the game, you don't concede early, and that was the worst thing that I probably could have said. We conceded with after one minute and 20 seconds. So that's disappointing. Um, look, it's an experience for me. It's been an experience, you know, it, 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 obviously, I've, only, I've tasted victory and, 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 and sort of getting promoted with this team and obviously I've tasted relegation now and um, yeah it's it's bad and it hurts but you know we'll um, bounce back and um, try and, and put things right. And talking of bouncing back you know at the end the, the guys going round and, and kind of applauding the supporters and stuff and, and clear to see the supporters still behind the club and, and there seems to be a kind of a sense of positivity looking at next season and you know kind of a confidence that the club is able to bounce back and, and get back into this league absolutely look we the the boys have got a bit more spirit that's that's there for everybody to see um and i said to them, look when the game finishes just come over to the dugout and i want you just to walk around it wasn't a, 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 a lap of honor it wasn't anything like that it was just to show the appreciation to the fans because the fans have stuck with the players even though we've been relegated, they've stopped with it. OK, you're going to get one or two that's going to have a go at a player if he makes a mistake, but I've, I've said it all, all along. If a, a player puts the effort in, puts the work rate in, the fans will get behind them. And that's the beauty about this club, is that they show that they appreciate that. And, you know, you, you, you walk round with the players there and everybody was clapping, wanted to shake hands and get autographs. And, you know, that makes me very proud. Fantastic. And then just looking to next year, obviously, Summer coming up now and lots of changes, you know, with the new manager, whoever that's going to be, to be kind of announced fairly shortly, I gather. Um, and then, you know, obviously there'll be players coming and going and, and stuff happening. So lots of change, Ed. Yeah, look, the, the, there'll be a lot of players going. Yeah, that, that, that's without doubt. Um, because you, you can't sort of get relegated as, and, and play as badly we, as we have for, for most parts of the season, going on a 30 game run without winning a game. You know, the players that probably think they are good enough will try and go to other clubs and I'd be very surprised if many of them get deals at, at this level. The lads that probably want to stay with this club, whoever the new manager is, might say, well, didn't really do it this season, so why are you going to do it next season? So, the, the, you know, the, I would say, looking at the last sort of five, six games that I've been in charge, Maybe four players might still be here, not including the youngsters. You know. okay, okay, John, well, all the best for the summer and, uh, and good luck and hopefully see you next season. Thank you for your support. Lovely, Thank thanks you. a lot. All the best. Cheers, John, Thank thanks. You. So, John Pissarros there, talking about next season. Obviously, lots of changes to come for Telford United. 
But summer break's come now. New manager, whoever that will be, to be in place shortly, I believe. Join us next season here at the New Buckshead to see if Telford can get back into the Blue Square Bet Conference League.